13-year-old Ali points and shoots. At a glance, it's easy to see a teenager playing with a camera. But a closer look reveals a young man whose photography is inspired by his own life. The picture of this woman and her child reminds me of how I used to sit with my grandmother. This picture I took of the man and his child on the bike is just like how my father used to carry me on his bike. Four years ago, Ali's village in Borno State was attacked. Separated from his family, he escaped to a refugee camp across the border in Cameroon. Two years ago, he returned to Nigeria and ended up here at Bakari camp for displaced persons in Maiduguri. We have hundreds of cases of minors that are looking for their parents at the moment. And uh, that is what we do in every day. We try our best to see how we can be able to trace their family members and uh, reunify them together. There are 30,000 displaced persons at the camp. Maiduguri is at the center of the fight against Boko Haram, which has already seen over 20,000 people killed. 15-year-old Zainab arrived here with her grandmother. Three years ago, her village was destroyed. Now, she takes photos to pass the time. I feel very sad when I see people sitting together with their mothers. It makes me cry. Ali and Zainab are two of four children given cameras by the International Committee of the Red Cross. The photos will be displayed at an exhibition in the capital Abuja later this month. And while the ICRC hopes the images will highlight the plight of displaced people, to Ali and Zainab, these photos may mean a whole lot more. Regan Levines, TRT World.